Hey folks, this is an unlikely hero, and today I'm going to tell you 10 things I wish I could have known before playing Stranded Deep. Some of these tips may seem rather simple to some people that maybe have been playing the game for a while, but if you're just starting out, or if you've just been having some issues with the game, figuring out what to do, I think these tips can really help you out. Alright, let's get to it. First, at number one, we have health regeneration. Pretty important. For your health to start regenerating, you need to have the healthy status effect. You get this by having filled your hunger and thirst to a certain level. Once you've eaten and drank enough, your watch will beep, like this. Now, you're regenerating health. At number two, we have hoard all the yucca fruit you can find. I made this mistake early on in my playthrough and I still kind of hate myself for it. Eventually, when you find enough, you can plant this enormous yucca plant garden. Then essentially, you get infinite fibrous leaves, which you can make lashing from. Lashing is basically the currency of Stranded Deep. You use it to make practically everything. So when you have a whole bunch of it on hand, it really helps to speed things up. Number three, pie pie plants are found in these little tiny grassy areas near the shorelines of islands. Don't kid yourself, guys. You're gonna get poisoned in Stranded Deep. Lionfish, snakes, sea urchins, sea snakes, and a couple other things. These guys are just everywhere. Finding some of these plants anytime you can and planting some at home is a literal lifesaver. Number four, the smoker is your best friend. It can cook multiple meats at the same time and is pretty cheap to build. If you leave cooked meat on the smoker long enough, it will become smoked, which will make it last a lot longer before spoiling. Perfect for long excursions away from home. Number five, using any other weapon other than the fishing spear on lionfish is a waste of ammo, time, and possibly your life. For some reason, these guys tank damage from weapons like the spear gun, but the crude fishing spear impales and kills them instantly. Number six, shark attacks can cause the bleeding effect, which will cause you to continue losing health until you use a bandage. Also, you cannot get the health regeneration mentioned earlier until a bandage is applied. Number seven. I don't understand the science behind it, but you need potatoes to make fuel for your ship's motor. After you make a fuel still, you use potatoes to fill those jerry cans with sweet gasoline. On a side note, make sure you plant a couple potatoes before you start making fuel with them. You're gonna need a few. Number eight, clay is found underwater near reefs, and you're gonna need it eventually to build some of the late game items, such as the fuel still we mentioned earlier. In my experience, they seem to be located near each other. Just be on the lookout for lionfish when you start mining them. Also, killing any sharks or applying shark repellent will make your life a lot easier. Number nine, you can use the bed to save your game and sleep. The best part is, you can carry it with you anywhere you go, and you can even toss it down on your raft, and use it even if you're in the middle of the ocean. And lastly, number 10, you can actually beat this game. It seems to just be a sandbox game, but it does have an ending. But I don't want to spoil that for you. You're going to have to find that out for yourself. Here are a couple honorable mentions that didn't make it into the top 10. Items never despawn, they will always be where you last put them, which is pretty cool. Even if you kill all the animals on an island, they will eventually respawn. If you deconstruct one of your buildings, you will get 100% of the materials back that you use to construct it. You can put three wood containers on a container shelf for storage, and most importantly, you can put container shelves on your raft. You can turn wood logs into sticks, and you can also stack multiple copies of the same tool in your inventory. 
And finally, you can always tell a shark is near because the game will always play the same music. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. And if you're hungry for more content like this, hit that subscribe button. As of this video upload, I'm actually still playing Stranded Deep on Twitch on Wednesdays at 5.30pm PST, so hope to see you all there.